So, Jay, did you just kind of decide you didn't want to miss this week? or uh, <laughs> I mean, I think it was, what, 16 of uh, – 14 of, like, 19 of the last two games, just something start, started clicking and just kind of went unconscious? Yeah. First of all, I just want to say thank you to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, without that, nothing would be possible. Um, and, yeah, no, I've, after last game, I was just super confident coming into this game. Um, we don't really care who, who gets the, the praise or who makes shots, but – uh, we're all just share the ball, and I was the one who got a lot of shots tonight, so that's just how it was, and I was uh, fortunate to make them. 19-3 is a program record. Uh, you lead the way with six of those. I mean, it just it seemed like one down, then two down, then three down. You know, for you, was it just kind of rebuild that confidence from Monday, and you see him go down again, and it's, all right, here we go again. I'm, I'm locked in. I'm not going to miss. Yeah, no, uh, I mean, once you see that first one go down, and then especially when everyone else is hitting, um, we're such an unselfish team. Like we just want to keep keep rolling and, and keep the confidence and keep keep the groove going. So it was a uh, it was great that we kept 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 knocking shots down. Come on, you saw you scoring a, or from various levels, the dunks, the n one lay in, hit the three. Just kind of talk about how you feel like that characterizes your game. Yeah, I think that's my game. I'm a slasher. I can do a little bit of everything on the court. I can see the pass, slash, uh, drive to the basket, and I just let the game come to me and do what I have to do. I start by defending, but when I'm on offense, I said I let the game come to me, you know. You know, when, when you look at kind of uh, the first five games you played with college basketball, what's kind of maybe the biggest thing you've learned uh, early on? Uh, for me, the biggest difference is uh, everybody wanted to take charges. <laughs> everybody is like, uh, everybody on the paint in Europe is different. Like in Europe, we played together. We played like more, yeah, together on defense, but the thing that change for me is like really everybody want to take, take charges. You guys have that tough loss against Prairie View A&M. You come back um, and you blow out two teams pretty convincingly. What does that kind of do for the confidence when you're able to flush a loss and, and not just squeak out wins but really dominate two teams as you go into Pac-12 play next week? Um, yeah, after, after Prairie View, um, it was just a bad taste in our mouth and we, we wanted to get it out. And um, so we just that whole week of practice was just really focusing on our defense and take care of the ball and uh, just like our efficiency on offense. Um, so we've been able to do a good job of that the last two games, and we're trying to keep it forward going into Oregon. And then this for either one of you guys. How do you feel your meshing as a team now that we're, you got through the November stretch of the schedule going into some Pac-12 play? How do you feel just as a team? Where's that chemistry at? You go. Uh, I think, it's, I think it's, uh, it's definitely getting a lot better. I mean, we got a lot of new guys on the team, but we're – a lot of unselfish players that that again don't care who scores. So I think, I mean, we all hang out on the court or off the court too. I mean, we all live together and stuff. Um, so I think the chemistry is really, really uh, taken off. And and I mean, it, since the beginning, it's all kind of flowed really well. So I think it's good. Jabe, you might be more equipped to answer this one, just um, based off proximity to, to the state. But uh, Apple Cup prediction tomorrow? Oh, Cougs by a million! Come on now. Money. Cougs. I'm a Cougs. So. <laughs> Go Cougs.